And Beijing has been pouring cash into the infrastructure of debt-ridden Greece, making it a gateway for investment and trade between China and Europe. On top of that, China has become a priority market for the Greek food business. RT's Igor Piskanov has more. This is not the set of a movie about the post-apocalyptic world, but the old international airport of Athens. This is what six years of recession, 27% of unemployment and billions of euro in debt look like, since this airport may very well be the perfect reflection of the Greek economy. And since its creditors, or the Troika, demand that Greece raises nearly $70 billion by the year 2022, it has to sell off its state assets. And here is where the Chinese come in. Beijing isn't only planning to purchase this whole abandoned facility, but is also looking at leasing the current working international airport. It's also attracted other countries like Russia and the U.S., but there's a great chance that that deal may also go to China. Back in 2009, China's Costco State Shipping Company leased half of Greece's largest port near Athens for 35 years, and local authorities say it's completely revitalized. It's a win-win situation. Great business for Costco and millions of euro in tax revenues for Greece. In fact, things have been going so well, Athens is now considering leasing the second half of the port. And Beijing is once again interested, pledging to turn it into the number one sea hub in the Mediterranean. From here, Chinese products are put on trains and then distributed throughout the EU, so there are no prizes for guessing who wants to snap up the Greek railways as well. But this Chinese takeaway doesn't end only on infrastructure. Greek food products, or virgin olive oil to be exact, are stirring up an appetite in China. Last year, the country became Greece's number four export market, and officials here say they used to think Beijing was a long-term priority, and now it's top of the list. So as the Troika slams Greece with various austerity measures and demands new job cuts and the reduction of salaries, China is storming in like on a white Trojan horse, bringing big business. Beijing even said it's considering covering some of Greece's debt, which is great news and a great opportunity for the Greek economy. And given that many other southern EU countries are also in dire straits, China would just be flexing its muscles. Igor Piskunov, RT, Athens.